What's up, YouTube? Um, as y'all might not know me, you know, I'm Nitro Mini Customs. Go back Nitro in the mini bike world, you know? So right now we fixing the MX Razor for a customer. He brought it in and I ran a few tests, tried to tune it, and it was throwing a hall sensor error. So I told him we just had scrap that, get a new motor, you know? So we just gonna get a new motor, put a new motor in there, which is, he got the KR5 V1, um, the Coon Ray with a, 450 far driver so um he already basically had everything built everything assembled himself um but when he got down to the tuning it wouldn't work so he called me and he got the kelly controller right now so we're gonna swap that out and put a far driver controller on it so i believe this is the 72 volt 20 amp hour from enc electric and co one of the earliest batteries um yeah he has everything though upgraded forks i don't know where they from it could be from ride or die but i don't see any ride or die markings on them pro tape handlebars he has um with a nice little pro tape of throttle you know nice response but we're gonna switch that out to the iconic cycles throttle over there and we're gonna get him good and going you know he running a 35 chain setup and 12 inch supermotos yeah, so let's see how this build go. First thing we're gonna do is disconnect the controller. So I already didn't cut the zip tie that he had holding it down, so it's already free to go. So I'm gonna just disconnect all these. I already unplugged the battery from the controller. So, you know, safety first, everyone. You know, I ain't a technician or nothing or anything. So everything y'all see here, you know, don't try at home, kids. <laughs> But yeah, everything is disconnected. No power is in the controller right now. Um, you can see, turned it on, no beeping or anything, no noise. So there's no power in the controller. You can also see, you know, no power in the controller. So yeah, so we're gonna get to it by disassembling the motor from the controller first. And then we're gonna take out the motor and drop that out. Now I already built a few bikes in the past as you can see, I got them two right there is the XX and the um, MX500. I modified them to 72 volts as well. One is for my nephew to ride. But yeah, uh, as you can see in the background, it's a lot of just a lot of mini bike frames, mini bike shit. So uh, I'm not new to this, but it's just a new hobby to me. So yeah, um, I get into it. So, and I also have another one that's out in the hallway right now. And that's my baby right there. So I'm gonna show y'all that in a few. So just stay tuned in the video for that one. Um, he also has the extended swing arm um, bracket, which is also a good modification to the bike. Um, and also has an upgraded DNM rear shock, which is also a good modification as well. Yeah, so he just need the powertrain, which is the KRB, and we're gonna put that in there. So let's see. So we're gonna take a Phillips screwdriver and take them out. Please bear with me. I'm doing this with all with one hand, so yeah. That off. You see the, you know, the main battery leads instantly come off. Just connected them. Um, I'm gonna take off of this. Now we're gonna have to cut some zip ties. And where's my colors? Cut these. Zip ties, zip ties, zip ties. Some more zip ties. Everybody's free. I love this. I can. I don't think I'll be able to do it with one hand. Oh my god. I know the phone gonna fall probably. Yeah. We go. Oh my god. Yeah, see, I know the phone's gonna fall, but hey, we disconnected it. Uh-huh. Take this. Now we could disconnect all of the Sensors. We could disconnect this throttles. 
power sensors, and slider throttles. It's a lot of throttles. Um, some connection. Let's take that. Up. This is fun. Hook up. There we go. Oh, you got them all of them. Controller is out. Indeed. Okay, on to the next one. Now we gotta take out the motor, which is held in by three Allen screws. One right here, and one right here, and one right here. So we're gonna take them out. They got the motor out. Oh. Okay, now the motor is officially out. Bam. Got the motor out from Electro and Co. We're gonna drop in that coon right now. We got the controller out. We got the motor out. So now it's time to install the new puppies. Look at her, ain't she pretty? <laughs> That's what folks will say, but yeah, we finna drop this coon ray in. Nice and shiny. Have him up and going running. Now that we got all three on there, now we can tighten it up. In the, in the so now that we got the coon right in though, now it's time to put the controller Find out where that's gonna live. Um, people usually cut this to fit their batteries, but since my customer has such a small battery, uh, I don't think we need to cut that. Um, so we're just gonna try and see where we can mount the far driver for now and see if we can make that work. So let's see how that go. I went ahead and cut off the battery mount that was right here. Um, it's looking ugly right now. Um, let's leave that be. Uh, I made some far driver mounts for it it's basically going to sit like this basically um and it's going to live right there and clear all the plastics and everything so we're going to go ahead and get that mocked up and mount it with these tabs so yeah let's see okay i got the controller mount welded up you know it's just going to sit like that basically it's going to be Flush like that, basically, you know. So oh, we're gonna have to put that on, find some screws for it, mount that up, and connect it to the hall sensors, motor, battery, and get it going, you know. Okay, so right now I got everything hooked up. The key is hooked up. No, ready to go. Already auto-tuned it. Um, tuned all the parameters, tune the settings. We'll put it in speed one. Speed two, speed three. So yeah, it's ready to go. Okay, now that we got the controller hooked up and everything is connected, the motor, battery, um, throttle, voltmeter, three speed. Now it's time to assemble everything, put everything up and make sure everything is clean. Put all the wires, tuck them all in, put the chain back on and test wrap this bad boy okay i got everything all hooked up far drive is connected everything connected now i'm just gonna put the, the little plastic shields back on and yeah this thing ready to go now you know 
Yeah. MX650, 72 volt razor build with the Coon Ray KR5E. So now I'm officially done with it. And this puppy, oh boy, this boy got torque. This is, yeah, this is dangerous. Um, But hey, that's what we do it for. Uh -huh, but yeah, the 72 volt Coon Ray is back in action. Running good, no issues, chain aligned. Um, I say it's, it probably do a good 60 right now. Um. It could be tuned up some more. I just tuned it low so it won't overheat. So we won't have any issues down the road. But yeah, other than that, this puppy good to go. I think he'll be very satisfied with this. <laughs> it's my personal MX650. You know, Midwest Mini, my um, swing arm. I too have the KRV Coon Ray. Um, you know, yeah, just all around upgrades. You know? Supermoto 10 inch rims in the back, 35 chain setup. You know, 